Um, for those who don't know, who might be joining in uh, for the first time today, uh, my name is Eric, um, Eric Volgaris here on the internet, and um, this is kind of just a one-shot show where we feature a lot of like indie RPGs here. I know it's a season two, episode uh, 19, but um, none of the shows are continuous. It's just, that's just the episode numbering here. Uh, we're almost at like 50 shows now of just random RPGs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just a bunch of random things like, um, well, my big favorite one is Microscope. Uh, but Microscope, One Last Job, Hot Guys Making Out, uh, Shooting the Moon, um, just this month. Uh, what else have we done? God, Night Witches. Yep. Uh, uh, inspectors. Blades so in the games. Dark. So many. Yeah, Blades in the Dark. Like, we've done so many games. That was the end of last, that was the end of last yeah. month. Oh, wait. Yeah. So many. One. So, um, mm-hmm. but today, today we have a special treat because it is Valentine's Day and it is in February. Yeah. So we're, we're playing Monster Hearts today. Uh, Monster Hearts is an awesome game about uh, teen romance horror, I guess is the best way of the three words that describe teen it romance best. is horror. This yeah. is horror. <laughs> That's also true. Uh, so so today's, today's game um, is going to feature a lot of high school uh, drama, angst, and romance. Uh, so so um, it's going to be it's going to be a really good time. But before we get we jump into the game here, let's let's go over and meet our our, our crew here. So um, let's let's start over to my left here. So Adam, Adam, how are you doing, my friend? Wait, which Adam? Oh yeah, Tux. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I I flanked myself with Adams. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so I made a, I made a okay, terrible mistake. <laughs> oh my God. We need to get a day where we get uh, Adam Coble in here, and then another Adam. Oh, we have nothing but Adams. Surrounded by Adams. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, I, I am doing super awesome. I hope you all are also doing super awesome. Yeah. Um, I've got a, I'm going to have an awesome day because I'm playing Monster Hearts, and then I'm going to see Deadpool. Woo! So nice. Y'all. Yeah. Awesome. Super so, excited for that. Uh, in, in the spirit of Monster Hearts here, um, would you mind telling me a really hilariously, like, either embarrassing or or just like kind of funny story about you in high school oh fuck uh <laughs> let me get on my list oh my gosh i know there's some memories many, right? no um <laughs> oh it's all sure, coming it's back to yeah. let's, go with, uh, let's, let's go with the time we were uh playing on the football field and i jumped the fence and ripped my pants <laughs> oh god okay that's pretty good <laughs> there you go yeah 10 out of 10 here <laughs> Awesome, Nick. Let's just, let's go around counterclockwise here. So, oh, so okay. <laughs> Nick, well, how are you doing, my friend? I'm pretty good uh, for being awake this early, and uh, I got I got some new vape juice. Do you, do you see, guys? I vape. Do you, do you see this? It's <laughs> <laughs> this is thematically that will, that will into come, this. Yeah, game. this 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 will this will come into play later. <clears throat> so I'm linking it all together. <laughs> yeah. So so Nick, do you have a hilariously awkward or or just funny story from high school? Um, fuck, I really don't think I do, because, like, most of my high school career was just like, hey, you're pretty cool, you make jokes, <laughs> all right with you. I can't, oh, okay, so, um, we were doing a, like, a rehearsal for the graduation ceremony, because kids are stupid and they don't know how to line up to yeah, actually go to a stage. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. so fucking done with it, and we were on, like, the last rehearsal, and I'm an honor student, so I've got, like, the honor chords and shit. Um... <clears throat> And I'm toward the back, so we get to this, like, last rehearsal, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna have you all just run through it, like, a few more times, and I was like, no, nope, I'm out, and I literally just walked out of the auditorium in the middle of the people, like, lining up to do this. <laughs> oh, wow, so you're a badass. <laughs> so you're just a badass. Okay. I was there for, like, two to- hours. I was tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your life is so hard. <laughs> as, a high, as a high schooler. <laughs> no, you don't, you, no, you don't understand. <laughs> Yeah. I know, it. nobody understands. Nobody understands. Nobody understands. <laughs> nobody understands my deck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Brad? Brad, you're you're a newcomer to the show. Um, how are you, my friend? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm still trying to think of a, a, a good high school story. I, I, I was such a mess back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, okay. So, um... So what uh tell me tell me a little about yourself as an as a newcomer here. What what got you into RPGs maybe and uh you know what it, are you excited uh, for Monster Hearts? Have you ever played it before? Oh yeah, totally. Uh I have not played it before. I, I played uh like a demo of uh, uh, uh of uh, Apocalypse 
uh, uh, like once years ago. But right. I, I'm yeah. still a fan of the system. It, it, it's oh, yeah. very cool. Um, yeah. And I, I first uh, was exposed to, to RPGs uh, really over three decades ago. I'm mean, like, nice. I know. Nice. <laughs> the dream. Uh, and, you know, never recovered. <laughs> yep. it's it's a it's a fatal illness awesome so i'm, I'm so happy to, to have you on here today um i'm so excited to play with you my pleasure yeah <laughs> so and last but certainly not least adam dark lavender how are you doing i'm doing wonderful i am in the equiest room imaginable <laughs> yeah you, you are in a concert hall <laughs> <laughs> Um, so tell me, um, what's what's up, my friend? How are you? How are you doing? And um, what, maybe maybe a hilarious high school story? Um, nothing much is going on right now. I went to IHOP earlier this morning in like Fuck yeah. three in the morning. Yes, and I did um, a little bit of work for like my legit Blades in the Dark hack, like character sheet thing i got all the stress and trauma boxes on there it's great oh you did a lot of like graphic Um, graphic work here yeah (laughs) okay also uh for the embarrassing high school story i'm just gonna leave something small here my embarrassing high school story was the half a year i played dungeons and dragons fourth edition (laughs) <laughs> oh boy that's a cardinal sin <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding actually I have nothing but love for, for all RPGs here uh-huh. mm-hmm. well except for 4th edition I mean, I'm, a, I mean I'm, a, I'm a politician I'm not allowed to say <laughs> I'm contractually obligated that I think all games are Eric great. is non-partisan <laughs> yeah. Eric is anything special I'm... about today's episode is there oh I guess not uh, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Are, is oh, anyone? Yeah. Spe- yeah. So, so <laughs> this is a, this is a pretty special one. Uh, speaking of fourth edition, uh, I also want to do a giant shout out here to to Roll Twenty. Um, I want to thank Roll Twenty so much for for giving me a, a feature here um, for 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 today. I'm 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 Roll Twenty's ambassador uh, for, yeah. for this month, which is super cool. So so shout out to to Stephanie and uh, Suzanne and and Nolan and the whole team over at Roll Twenty. Uh, thank you so much, and hopefully I do your system proud here. Let's try not to fuck up first impressions. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, uh... All right. Actually, I'm um, move when you make a first impression, roll plus weird. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna stare into the, uh... Stare into the abyss. The psychic <laughs> Unlock my darker self. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... I think um, I think other than that, maybe we should talk a little bit about uh, just just mon- uh, once upon a game in general. Uh, I have a couple little guidelines that I always like to do, like a little spiel before every show. Mm-hmm. Um, so so we are we are a one shot show. Um, whatever we do here today, we will not come back to. So I encourage everybody to just have fun and bring it, um, and and play to, play to whatever you want. Uh, make sure we play games that specifically feature. Um, player input more than like mechanical rules so if you want something to you want to see something happen push for it um bring it uh shape the shape the fictional clay in the way that you see fit um the way you do that uh there's several different tips here for for how to how to actually uh perform well for for like a one shot and like a story game where where there's less mechanical and more like fictional stuff um whenever you're caught or like called on the spot and you're not exactly sure what to say or, or do um go with the first thing that's in your head um it may seem cliche it may seem obvious but that's actually really good because uh nine times out of ten what's obvious to you is not obvious to other players and even if it is obvious uh to other another player uh that just means that it's easily translatable and someone knows what you're trying to say and pick up so people can just riff with that right it's 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 safe basically and um by doing that, you have a you you have a chance for other people to pick up and twist it in a different way. Um, additionally, you you not like one time out of ten or whatever, like being just saying the obvious thing is just primo for that scene. Uh, 
it's it, it works out it works out fantastically um other other some like another couple suggestions i'll listen to other players uh just how other players will be kind of stating the obvious and and saying the first thing that comes off the top of their dome uh you should maybe just reincorporate that into the first thing that comes off your head because you're listening um oftentimes when you twist someone else's idea uh it comes out even hilariously better um nothing you're cre- one's creative imagination is never as powerful as everyone's and that's kind of why we play and share these games because we're playing to find out what happens and it's way better when we make a movie together than it is just saying one person telling the story um and then last but not least uh steal steal from fiction uh steal steal from every movie you've seen every book you've read every manga every anime um every roll 20 presents um every just every rpg you've ever played uh take take little aspects and snippets take from your real life take from your high school experiences here uh steal steal little personality traits from from people you've known or met or or stories that you've heard um it doesn't you don't have to tell us the name like we just if you take a little tiny like cross section of one person that you ran into for a year before they moved um let's do it um steal liberally um everything to a, to a, a game player and to a a like a, even as a GM, um, the world is your inspiration. Uh, whatever you 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 must be like a vulture and and just eat all of the uh, all all of the the carrion that that's around for your games. Um, so and and then finally the, the the last and perhaps the most important part of of roll twenty is or uh, of of once upon a game is is being is how how we do this safely. Um, mm-hmm. So this is a one shot, and I encourage everybody to bring it and bring everything. You know, uh, play to play to what you want to see. But since we were kind of strangers and we don't really know each other that well, um, we have what's called the X card um, in this game. Um, the X card, or or if you prefer, uh, we have the veil as well. Um, and I'll talk about the differences. But in case you're ever uncomfortable with the material or you don't want to pursue the the logical extension of something and portray it on screen. Um, what you can do is you can just do a little like X like this, or like a giant X like this, or chat with a little X, or or like a um, you know like a whispered me an X if you don't want to do it really publicly. Um, and what that what that indicates to me is that you're uncomfortable with with the progression of what's going on here. Um, maybe it's like maybe you don't like the idea that spiders are coming out of someone's skin, right? That's probably reasonable. If you don't mm-hmm. want to see that or hear that, well, what you can do is like you can you can say like hold on hold on I'm, uh, can we can we please X out the spider part. I'm just not okay with spiders in this game. And then like magic, it's gone. Um, and just like magic, you don't have to explain it. You don't have to justify why it's why it's gone. Um, because it's, it makes you uncomfortable. And we as players, we should all trust each other that if you're if it's uncomfortable to you, you're doing this for a good reason. Um, and that's it. We might ask some clarifying questions like, are mosquitoes okay? You know, or, or like other arachnids okay? <laughs> um, but uh, at, at the same time, um, we should we should trust and appreciate each other. Um, we shouldn't be um, trying to be judgmental here. Um, and, and the difference between the X card and the veil is that the veil might be, um, okay, you're okay with spiders coming out of the skin fictionally, but I just don't want to see it and you, you describe it. So, like, can we just cut to black for the rest of that? And that's totally fine because that, then we're just kind of pushing it behind the veil here. Okay. Um, but these rules are only as good as if we're um, willing to, to follow them, right, and, like, adhere to them. So I need to, I need to hear some buy-in. Are we are we cool? Are we cool with those those guidelines? Of course. Are we okay yes. to, to use yes. that? We like that. Okay, good. Because if we didn't, we couldn't play, and I'd feel really really bad for roll twenty. <laughs> so, thanks. Awesome. Yeah, it's magic. I don't have to explain shit, as John Freeman says in, in chat. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, with that, with all being said and done, I think we're about ready to play Monster Hearts. Yay! Yay! So. Yay. Um, so we're, for this, for the purpose of this one shot, uh, we did a little bit of prep beforehand. Normally, we, we play games that are prepless. Uh, at most, maybe like an hour beforehand, we will do something. Um, and what we what we agreed to, and we we came up with, is that we're going to be playing uh, senior seniors in high school, uh, some sort of like suburban high school in America, like your typical anywhere USA yep. um, style game. However, um, you're going to see that this. The people who populate this anywhere USA are all but ordinary, um, yep. and uh, I think I think we're we should probably just introduce our characters through our first scenes with the guidance counselor, right? Yes. Okay. So um, to start off here, 
Uh, what we're gonna do? Yeah, it's a monster museum. Um, so we're. <laughs> uh, so I think I think we kind of see the 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 game starts with a a fade from black um, to to sort of like the outside of a school, and we see a bunch of generic students walking in in the morning, uh, you know, with their backpacks slung on their shoulders. Uh, a couple kids loitering around, people riding bikes. You see uh, parents dropping off their kids. Uh, you see buses lining up uh, as as people um, get off the buses. Um, and I think I think then we kind of like cut to like inside the school, and you hear like the bell ring, and we go like go through a door, and um, this will be a classroom of someone's. So let's just once again let's just go around the same circle here. So let's let's go with with Tuxtradamus. So um, Tux here is playing a character named Timothy Lane. So yes. um, so Timothy, uh, tell me. So this is your first period class. Uh, tell me where where you would be sitting in your first period class. Uh, like what class this is. Yeah. Um, um. And like how, like what your sort of like demeanor is in this class right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so Timothy like walks in, uh, it's an English class. So like see, they're generic senior English, whatever it is. Like mm -hmm. we probably read, we probably read Catcher in the Rye or something. Oh, and, okay. Uh, so it's like literature, like AP Lit? Yeah, just, yeah, whatever. The some Read books, talk about them. What, what, why are they, what do they mean kind of stuff. Um, he sits vi like in the exact middle um, oh, okay. Yeah, basically, like, uh, everybody, like, that has their stuff. Like, there's kids in the back, kids in the front, kids off to the side with their friends, whatever. But that seat in the middle is basically usually his. Oh. And so he just kind of gravitates it's to a, it. Is, is someone else there? Or are you sitting in your, that is that your spot and you're in it right now? That's generally pretty much my spot. Like, okay. I've never, I would never enforce it, but, like, it just kind of usually ends up happening where it's just like, okay, middle spot. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tim, Str Tim Str <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, so, so Tim doesn't like AP Lit or does he, or, or I guess, I guess high senior English or. I mean, I mean he, it's not that he doesn't like it. Just, he just kind of, there's people in the front and there's people in the back and people in the okay. center is just a good clean spot where he doesn't, he doesn't have to tell anybody that he wants to sit there or anything. It's just. It's okay, open. Sure. It's fine. So it's I think, all good. yeah. So I think your, I think your, your teacher is talking about like chapter sixteen and and the the what what sort of allegories exist in the Catcher in the Rye uh, for this for this chapter, right? Like, so we're mm -hmm. talking about what the carousel means today, guys, and, <laughs> and the carousel and, and 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 your your siblings, and then we hear like a knock on the door, and an administrator comes in, and it's like oh, uh, and and interrupts the teacher for a second. Um, and, and the teacher kind of stops his, his speech here and goes over and, and talks to the administrator. The administrator is clearly someone from like the um, like you know secretary or whatever to the principal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, he hands over and she hands over a note to your your professor, and um, and you see that both of their eyes look to Tim. And um, your professor goes, uh, or I guess I keep saying professor, but teacher. Um, your your teacher goes, uh. uh Tim, uh, Tim Jones, uh, could would you, I, uh, I, you're, you're asked to, um, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get your stuff. Uh, it looks like the guidance counselor is going to need you for for the rest of today. Okay. Uh, and he goes over and and passes the note to the kids up front, and and the kids up front have to like you know like whisper and bring it down to you. You know they you know mm -hmm. how like they just like pass it behind them. Uh, to get to you and yeah, and, and it, it's like an official pass or whatever that gets you out for the rest of the day okay. That says please yep. report to the guidance counselor. Okay grabs his notebook full notebook and folder and his his uh, copy of the book and yeah. Jams it into his uh, backpack. Yeah, and um, I think I think your teacher would probably be like well Tim I mean don't don't forget that the chapter 18 is due next Wednesday and as, as, as you go um, as, you, as you leave the, the building Yeah, he, and yeah, he gets up and kind of like just doesn't really look at anybody as he walks out. He kind of is looking down and then walks out. Just yeah, straight up and straight out. Awesome, cool. So now, okay, cool. Let's let's let's. That's that's where we end the scene for that part, and let's let's yep. cut over to to Celesta. So uh, similar questions for you, Celesta. Um, where where is your first period class? Are you in it? Um, what what's your demeanor in in the class? Where are you sitting? Um, when you, when you get this note, so. Um, I'm thinking the first period's probably German because. That seems to be like German. Most... German in the morning seems pretty Ger good. German, yeah. So it's probably like an advanced. Alaman in the AM, maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
So it's um, it's probably like you know AP German or whatever the highest level yeah. of German is. You know, oh, like yeah. Okay, no, it's AP. Okay, right. that's important. And, okay. Um, you know, there's the typical preppy kids. There's a few kids that are just there to, you know, get a grade. There's a few people kind of just like sitting around, and the room's in a weird arrangement because there's yeah, maybe it's... like 19 kids in the class. Yeah, maybe. so it's like it's a circle. It's like a half circle. Yeah, it's yeah. very like open. It reflects the teacher's artsiness. Yeah, and yeah, I think, exactly. <laughs> I think Celeste kind of sits in like uh, like the middle of the semicircle, like maybe one row back from the front, and okay. like it's it's not because like you know that's the only seat available it's just like eh, whatever there's there's no one sitting in this area i can be aloof like, right here okay so she's kind of just there vaping as she does teachers out of the room because it's german why do you okay. need to show up at nine in the morning for german <laughs> <laughs> so i think yeah so um i think i think one of the the, the students here i think it's going to be a, a a snobby brat of of a kid you know like the kid that you that is always just like good goody two shoes is like yes celessa could you like just can you please not do that uh referring uh, to your vaping i i think uh celesta kind of turns back to him and she's like well since you asked so politely and then she kind of just shuts off the vape after a second and kind of sits forward and, and then just blows a huge plume of smoke <laughs> well i think I, I think he's like no well i mean it's not it's not me it's just it's just that you know you know uh chen has asthma and i'm just worried about chen you know <laughs> i think i think and she she's like of... trying to like not be that she just hates you <laughs> yeah so uh, celeste kind of just like adjusts her uh her finely knit designer cap and she's just like well i mean you know you, you just switch your just bags to, to the get side again. chen doesn't have to be here it's his elective and then she kind of just like slumps back in the chair and goes back to ignoring everyone and i i think i think um like it's probably some other like people of like the popular kid um i guess what her she's got to be something like a um like a jessica she's a class she's a jessica right? <laughs> classic jessica of course she is of course um, she is and so like jessica and and emily and and megan all uh <laughs> are just like god it's just why can't you just follow the rules celesta like it's just so easy just you're so rude and they just like look just just kind of just glare at you and scowl and just like and kind of just bicker and just look at each other and kind of like roll their eyes um at, at kind of what um how you behave so um nonchalantly i guess i think i put on like a, a wry grin and roll my eyes where they can't see it just like because yeah. i know they're probably doing it behind me because i can like hear them yeah. whispering so just, yeah and so like you look the other way and like you're just like fuck whatever. it whatever yeah okay um i think at that point uh i think i think the the german teacher comes in um I think the professor, or I keep saying professor, I think the teacher would be uh, probably some, like, old lady, like, some, like, really, yeah. really old, yeah. old that's, lady. That's my experience with foreign language classes. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, she's, like, the <laughs> oldest, oldest lady. Um, and she, she, she kind of just, like, hobbles in, and, um, you know, she's always wearing, um, she, she's always too dressed up, right? Like, she's, mm -hmm. she's yeah. like, in, like, a... Um, a very like a very pants. nice like pantsuit exactly yeah. um i'm imagining the colors are just like red or like yeah that's yeah yes. yeah like, like red you know, and black and like purple yeah you know like like first lady clothes <laughs> yeah yeah, first yeah lady like clothes. some you know what i mean like first lady uh -huh. outfits mm -hmm. that's that's what yep. she is like the, like the president so, you know um so mm -hmm. that's like pretty much what she wears all the time um and uh she she comes in and she's holding a note he's like uh, so, so class. Um, before before we get into writing our um, our sentences about uh, our vacations, um, so so I have a I have a note for for Celesta here um, to go see to go see our guidance counselor. Um, they say that it's going to take um, the rest of the period. Um, you should be. I think Celesta just like immediately stands up, grabs the note, and starts like walking out at oh, those. Oh, words. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 dear me. Okay. <laughs> And she probably says something in German, but I don't know anything yeah. in German. I think I think I like over over my yeah. shoulder call like I'll see you tomorrow, Miss Abingsworth. Yeah. In German. Guten Tag. <laughs> what what is goodbye in German? Or never goodbye. Uh, auf wieder, auf wiedersehen. Auf wiedersehen. Auf wiedersehen. Auf wiedersehen, okay. um, Frau Abingsworth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and then you say it in like perfect German. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like every kid in the class is just like, oh, you 
fucking try hard. <laughs> He's like, you're a try hard. The Jessicas are just like, oh, bitter. Exactly. Yeah. Bitter. <laughs> well, of course, everyone knows, all, all, all the kids know every single swear word in German. Yeah, so. but they say it like really, really terribly. Like, right, exactly. <laughs> so. That's how high school, that's how high school foreign languages work. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> God, she just walks through, out of here like she has dust boot up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, so let's let's just let's just keep this party train going of seeing who what these characters are first. Um, so Alistair. Um, so similar questions, man. Um, so so what does Alistair do for first period? Um, where is he? You know, what's who's what class? Where do you, where would he sit? Um, and okay. stuff. What's his demeanor in the class until he gets his note? So. Alistair is in like a, a couple of AP classes, but I think his first period is uh, like civics, and you know, not you know, uh, I don't know if there's even oh civics, it, yeah, yeah, it, you know, it's, absolutely, it's sort of sort of both, um, and uh, he he comes in, uh, you know, trying to hide in uh, plain sight, but but totally failing. Like he he's got on this uh, black trench coat, which might have been cool like before Columbine, but now it's like oh, uh, <laughs> now it's very faux pas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Does he have a fedora? Uh, <laughs> Let's think about this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that's no, a great idea. No, that, okay. no, that, that's too far. Too far too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, he he does have like bangs that are like totally uh past Covers. eye level yeah uh, you know just you know uh hiding but but like right there and just so awkward and he, he's all hunched um and he sits in like the the second back row like the the back row is sort of reserved for the you know uh the 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 cool bad kids and he uh and he you know wants to be you know as far away from like the the you know the front and center of attention as possible but and you know would love to join them but you know it, it just isn't up to it um and, and he just kind of sits there at his desk and is just is, like just uh, is, is just kind of cra- almost crawling yeah. into it yeah <laughs> just just oh uh, so just <laughs> you, yeah you you loathe uh, you loathe just your current circumstances. Human maggots. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, Writing poetry or something. <laughs> so I, I think I think the lecture is something about like the division of powers and the the why why there's a um, the three branches of government and and why it's important. Um, so yeah, it's like and he's uh, the, all of these well, beliefs stem from the French Revolution and like you know or like whatever. It's like, <laughs> Robespierre and Monster Skew and blah 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 and, <laughs> and why this is important today is during because of the Bill of Rights and blah 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 and and then once again we get a knock and and the um the principal's assistant comes in and and hands a, a note to you like a little yellow slip um that's all that looks all professional like and um and it hands it to the professor or to the teacher. <laughs> Uh, the teacher, the teacher's like a young upstarty kind of dude, right? Like he's probably like the cool like twenty eight year old teacher. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he, he like you know like he's the guy who comes in with a little messenger bag, uh, and <laughs> really excited. Yeah, this leather satchel. Yeah, oh. yeah, the leather satchel. <laughs> ex- you know, <laughs> and um, and he and he comes in at like jeans and a sport coat. You know, like that that outfit and a leather satchel. Um, and and he's like, oh well, um, oh. Hmm. Well, um, Alistair, uh, I guess you're you're being summoned, it's like, as he says, in, in a chuckled way. All right, I can uh, dig it. Yeah, uh, you gotta you gotta report to your guidance counselor jury oh, duty no. today uh, as your civic duty. Um, very well. Um, so I think I think he wants he he's holding it out like thinking that you're going to come up to um to get it. Okay, so Alistair freezes and like yeah. looks around the classroom, uh, and then uh, uh, then sort of stands up abruptly, and rather than going up, uh, makes a beeline for the door. You don't even grab the slip. 
Um, well, okay. So our, I imagine there's like call monitors and stuff like that. So so he need it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he makes a beeline for the door, gets there, uh, thinks about it, and then slowly like it, 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 <laughs> the. Uh, he Even more he awkwardly, found out that his dog died. He he realizes that he has to turn around, go up to the front of the class. He takes the slip. <laughs> so you're all you're all like slumped as you go to the front of the oh, class. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be so embarrassing. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my. Okay. Um, I think I think the I think you kind of hear the, the the rest of your classmates giggle a little bit in at your at your displeasure. Um, as, 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 as the door closes here. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, uh, let's, let's talk about Jesse. Um, so Jesse, uh, is your first period. Um, what are you doing? I imagine I got a call from the office instead because I am in post-secondary. I get to go to, I'm taking college classes. <laughs> oh, Ooh. you're at the community Ooh. college? Getting, getting those classes? Yeah, and they know that I don't have a first period class, but they can just send like a courier to come get me. So they just they just call me up from the guidance office. Okay. Cool. No problem. Um, so I'm just in the car on the way over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So. Where where is the where is the community college in relation to the high school? Is it walking distance? No, not at all. It's like twenty minutes away, probably. Okay. Um. Okay, but do you drive? Yeah, I totally do. Okay, cool. Um, describe. So you probably we got we saw that you got the note, and so we probably see the first scene of you driving your car back to school. Um, mm -hmm. what does your car look like? Um, I imagine it's just like this. Probably like just before two thousands, kind of like red, kind of uh... muscle car. You know, it's not like no, it's not a muscle car. At all. Oh, okay. It's just like this red sedan, and no. um, it's pretty old and beat up at this point. But it's the inside of the car still works very well. Like the air conditioner is still working, and everybody's yeah. first car, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, right. first car. Yep. Yeah, it's like uh, a ninety eight yeah. Camry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So it's a very, very just generic -y Honda Civic car. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, cool. Um so everything in it is working order. Like mm -hmm. both your lights work and everything. Okay, cool. All right. Totally. So yeah, so um you show up and like the parking lot's kinda like completely full. Uh, what do you do? I mean you might if you drive around you might be able to find a spot. But you know what I mean? It's, it's just obnoxiously. I am going to go and park in the like gravel lot that's okay. for people like me. Oh that's yeah, the the, the runoff parking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was I was hope okay. I was kind of hoping like, you would go to the. Uh... It's like not even a part of the high school. It's like. For the middle yeah. school or something like that. It's just, yeah, so yeah. It's a, it's right. it's the overflow parking for for the big football games. Yeah. yeah, it's on like a grassy lot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Okay, yeah, it's spillover. Okay, um, so there's like a couple other the yeah. field or something like that. Yeah, there's a couple other cars there, but like you know everybody wants to park closer to the school, um, so you have to like walk a little bit before you get into class or before you get into the to the school building. Um, mm -hmm. What time of year is it? Is it winter-ish or no? It would be summer. Okay, um, cool. It's it's probably it's like late spring then. Uh, it's probably like late late spring, um, like like May or April or April or May. Um, so we're really close to graduation. Yeah, like we're like sixty days out from graduation. Okay. Yeah, like two months. Yeah, and um, it's probably like a pretty muggy day or something, uh, okay. or it's like muggy. It's muggy for you, as as um, maybe like the sky opened up a little bit after everybody went inside. And um, so you're driving back here, and it's just like this obnoxious, yeah, it's, it's kind of just humid and, and kind of damp. Um, there's a couple people outside 
Yeah, yeah, there are. Um, I think I think a couple of your friends are, are hanging out outside smoking. Mm-hmm. Um, and they yeah. look up. They look at you uh, quizzically, being like, "What are you doing, Jesse? What are you doing here?" I probably just stop at the, like the nebula of the group, and mm-hmm. I I just like pull out my phone and I'm just like. Yeah, I got a call that I need to see the guidance counselor or something. We're getting pretty close to graduation, so... Guidance counselor? That's... God. (laughs) All right, well, enjoy learning about your five-year plan, as they all laugh. (laughs) And, um... Yeah, yeah, they're kind of just making fun of you that you have to go see the guidance counselor. Okay. Totally. All right, so you just, like, walk into the school then? Yeah, totally. Um, okay, cool. All right. Um, so so I think I think now there's probably, like, all of you guys are all together kind of, like, outside the um, the guidance counselor's office. Yep. Um, I'm sitting there with like, my... Uh, I'm sitting with my, with my, with my Motorola Razor playing Prince of Persia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The references. The references. I oh, my God. That's, <laughs> oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. My um, iPod shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I think when um when we see Jesse come in, I think that's when we see the guidance counselor door open and it says uh, and and you see this um this cheery uh middle-aged lady um wearing a um like a button-up short-sleeve shirt uh and some jeans. And, and like some some like really like not quite sandals, uh, they're like covered like covered sandals like covered toe sandals like very like easy uh, kind of flip floppy shoes. Um, she she comes she comes out she kind of looks like um, like a cheery Rosie O'Donnell kind of figure. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, she's like, oh hi guys, uh, oh I didn't I didn't think that you all show up so early. Okay, well. Uh, Ah uh, well, um, if you don't mind waiting here, I'm just gonna take you in one at a time. Hi, <laughs> and uh, I think, and she's she she looks at the first person. Um, so it would be Tim. I'm like ah, Timothy. Well, uh, hi. How how do you do? My name's Debbie. Hi. <laughs> and she she reaches her she extends her hand. Stand up. You don't you don't re- you don't um shake her hand or anything. I I I do it kind of slowly. Oh, just slowly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and she like enthusiastically shakes her hand. Um, was you just kind of just limply like your yeah, hand like, fell, right? Yeah. Does like, she does she do both hands? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so good to it's so good to see you. <laughs> and um, I think I think she's like, come 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 in come in. Right, let's 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 talk about your future. <laughs> That's the door closes. <laughs> great, great. Alistair rolls his eyes. I think yeah. outside I kind of make like a handgun motion and just like faint, <laughs> like, <laughs> like several yeah. times. <laughs> Cool. So, um, I so I think I think you see that she has like a, a stack of like Manila folders uh, all next to her, um, and then she brings out like the top one, and it's you, and it has a bunch of like paperwork in it, and a bunch of like clips and little post-it notes, um, and uh, she she's, <laughs> she she kind of just chuckles as she goes and 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 retrieves the the one off the top of the stack. Um, looking around this office, it's very like bright blue. Uh, there's a lot of posters everywhere. Like, like you have the ones of like kittens, like you know, hanging off branches, saying "Hang in there," or like, an, and like another one that says that like, has like one paw up, saying like "Claw for your dreams." Um, you know, like all these kind of like inspirational, like horrendous things that you would see in a guidance counselor's <laughs> office. Uh, you have like different things about like a bunch of like pamphlets about different things, like on like uh-huh. on, a, on a wall, like brochures. Is there is there is there one about uh, STDs too? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, like how to protect yourself. Um, yeah. It's just and like column. you know, and then the, like there's just one uh, one entire column of like the brochure thing is just like the various years fire safety pamphlets. Uh, just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just it's very uh, just uh, it's, mm-hmm. it's just oozing. Teenage of, of, suicide, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, so she's like, oh, you gotta excuse the mess. The previous guidance counselor is, uh, I'm still, I'm still picking up his, his pieces here. Um, so, so how do you do? Uh, my, my name's Debbie, and, and I'm, I'm your, I'm your guidance counselor. 
I'm I'm good. So so uh, so Tim, uh, do you don't mind if I call you Tim, Timothy? Do you? I I guess not. <laughs> you just, okay. <laughs> Tim, you're a real charmer. Uh, I, uh, and 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 so she as she like plops open the the folder, um, and she takes a seat down. Um, she sits very like wide wide legged, like she's very like comfortable, and like it's supposed to be a very like um, non a uh, very informal uh, kind mm-hmm. of you know it's like so so in your mind what what do you think that I as a guidance counselor do? Uh, I guess you're supposed to help us get ready for what's after school. See, man, you you are charming and smart. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to prepare you for the big wide world, and and I know I know uh, I know our former guidance counselor may have not done a good job here, but uh, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix this right quick. So I know I know you got about sixty days or so, and before graduation. Mm-hmm. And uh, listen, um, uh, I was reviewing some of some of the notes here, and uh, there might be a little bit of a snag um, for uh, before graduation here, Tim. What do you mean? So it looks like here you took um you took a workshop class um in ninth grade. Uh yeah. Well uh well well due to a computer mix up when we were moving over the the systems apparently uh that course was never actually a course and uh, you're actually <laughs> uh it looks like you're you're short a few credits here and um wait what? Yeah uh I I talked well you know I I, I talked to Principal Johnson. And uh, I, I was trying to see if we could just let it, you know, just let it go, because uh, you know you're you're gonna be going up in the big world here and graduating. We want to keep you keep you from your dreams, um, but um, yeah. So uh, I got the bright idea if maybe um, maybe you would do a little short little project for for the school, uh, you know, to cover up those credits. What what kind of project? Uh, you know, just a little a little personal. Uh, uh, basically, like a research project, like a like a like a study project. But don't don't worry, you won't be alone. It'll be a group project. There's there's several other kids in in your spot. I look out like is, is and it like you're starting to, to, out there. Or? No, it, the door's closed. But like she, like she little, or, when okay. she looks like she kind of looked past you a little bit when she said yeah, that, like yeah. you know like what's kind of picking up. Mm-hmm. Like I look out there, like are all of us doing this? Mm-hmm. So, absolutely, and um, okay, but uh, and and she like yeah, knocks sure. on knocks on the table for a second because that's our little thing, and she's like holding like a cup of coffee that says like you can do it, <laughs> <on the mug. laughs> and um, you know, and and uh, she she takes a nice little sip of her coffee, and uh, she goes, so um, everybody out there's like we're all in the same group. Ah, uh, yeah, but, we'll, but 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 we'll get to that in a quick second here. Uh, what I, I want to know here is that uh, Tim, um. So it says here that you're uh, you're you're currently employed. Uh, yeah. Oh well, kudos to you for your uh, your work ethic. So so where where do you where do you work here? It's uh, it says the employment's blank, but it says you're working. Um, I'm at the coffee shop on the uh, plaza on the west side of town. It's um, uh, super is it beans. A Starbucks? Oh, is, is, is it is supposed to be? Is it like a Starbucks spinoff? Is it, yeah, is it like, it's, like it's, it's a corporate yeah. it's, a, it's a corporate one and not like a private fam- mom and pop uh-huh. one. So so what do you call it beans? What beans? Super beans. Super beans. Oh, God, that's so good. Cool. So rich. <laughs> that's so fair trade. <laughs> oh, super beans. Oh man, my uh my husband gets me a a double caramel uh frappa maki latte. <laughs> Every day I'm, from from there. So we're going to this sort of coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I've 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 made I made a few of those before. Maybe I served them. I guess. Yeah, you probably met my husband. That's great. Oh, that's that's just it's such a small world here in, in Sunnydale. <laughs> oh no! Doomed <laughs> <laughs> um, it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I guess it's a it's a it's a job. Yeah. So, um, where do you, so so what um what are your future plans here, Tim? Um, when where do you think uh, you'll see? Where do you see yourself in five years? You think uh, you think four year college is 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 the right plan? 
I look. I immediately look at the door again, mm-hmm. and then back to her, and uh, I don't know. I guess I haven't. I haven't really thought about it a whole lot. Oh well, it's really important to think about your future, Tim. You're disappointing me here a little bit, and she does her, puts her hands akimbo. Um, <laughs> and uh, come on, you, you got such a good head on your shoulders. Oh, it can't. You never thought about what you want to do professionally? You know, when out in the big wide world? You have so many opportunities for someone your age. I don't know, you I guess. Follow your dreams. So what are your dreams? Well, I, guess it, I guess it doesn't really. I don't really care what I'm doing. I guess it, what matters is what who who's going to be there. Oh. People around me, I guess. Oh, so you care about the people around you. Oh, that's sweet. Sure. You know, you know it's a good career that's always hiring where people who care about the people around you? Hmm. Nurse. <laughs> you know it's another good one? <laughs> Beautician. I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to take care and of if, sick people or take and care if of you're, Oh, hmm. You don't want to, you want to, okay, so I get it, I get it, okay. So so you don't want to take care of, of sick people. Okay, so you, you're more about, uh, about talking to people. Have you... You you want to you you care about the people around you, but you want to do it in a, in a talking way, in a social way. Have you considered being a guidance counselor? Oh okay. <laughs> she, 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 she chirps up. Pretty I mean, I mean, I mean, the the coffee shop's fine enough, I guess. I mean, oh come on, I, I didn't become Debbie Broder here. Didn't become a guidance counselor to hear that you just want to work at a coffee shop. Come on. I'm here to teach you to reach for your dreams. And I know we gotta do this annoying little project here so you can graduate, but but come on, like you, you should but we'll really get through this in this this tough time here is we is it's having something to reach for. You have to have something that you want you want really badly. So so what is the thing I, that you I, want? I mean most? look at the look at the like look at the yeah. door again and then look back to her. Yeah, it's like what is it what's the one thing in the world that you want the most? And I just look. I like. I look up, and clearly, I'm thinking about something. Yeah. Or someone. <laughs> um, and uh. That's fine, and we can reveal that after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. As as part of your um your playbook. Okay. Cool. And she's like, oh well, yeah, you might be the Marion type, and uh, okay, uh, if you don't mind, just just take a seat out front as I I bring in the next student, and then uh, we'll get you all together and get going. Mm-hmm. All right. I get up and I, oh, so yeah. So I come out. Good. I come out the door to in front of the three of you. Um. So up till I, now, Alistair had been. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Alistair had been like studiously uh, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Uh, as soon as you step out, he like looks up uh, and, and at you sort of intensely, trying to uh, figure out what the hell this is about. <laughs> um. Is is Debbie is is cool Debbie right behind me uh no she has just oh, okay. the door open so if you wanted to like talk to the people a little bit beforehand you okay can... yeah um Jesus Christ I look I, I just kind of like down the line and then back to Alistair and like uh it we, we're not gonna graduate unless we do something this stupid project I guess and how does everybody respond? Like react immediately? Like, what's your instinct as soon as you? I'm still out? listening to my Nirvana playlist, so I'm I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leaned up against oh the god. wall. I got yeah. my shuffle headphones in my ear. Yeah, oh my god! Like, what I'm like, shuffle? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Guys, what is this important? Well, you, you see want... a, 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 an expression of absolute horror come over Alistair's face. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Until I know what time it is because I'm wondering whether it'll interfere with my vampire masquerade group or not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get to that in a second. Yeah. So even um, a Wednesday shirt, sure, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so um so I think the next person she calls in is uh uh Celeste. She does not call you by Celeste. Yeah, by I, Celeste. I think I kind of like step up off the wall and I just like audibly sigh and just kind of like trump my way in there and s- slam myself down in the chair and I'm like yeah. it's Celesta it's on like, the sh- there's an A at the end oh oh heavens me it is Celesta like the cat yes, it is. 
That's what she says. <laughs> I'm just completely unimpressed. I'm just yeah, like just just un un yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Celeste, I'm so sorry about that. So I'm Debbie Broder. How do you do? And she reaches her hand out to shake your hand. Uh, I kind of just don't reach my hand out, and I'm just like, well, I I'd be better, but I'm still here for another two months. So things things are looking up. They ain't great. Uh, Oh, come on. Lift that little head up. Pick up that little chin. And uh, I think... Um, just fuck you over and over yeah. in my head. So, Celesta, uh, how about you just take a seat here real quick? And uh, she, she goes, grabs another uh, folder off the off the pile. And it's, it's once again, adorned with... Uh, a, this one's adorned with way more post-it notes around it um, than, than Tim. And um, I, think, I think the first thing she says is... Uh, so, so Celesta, what do you what do you think the job of the guidance counselor is? I uh, I tilt my head back and I'm kind of just like uh, to tell me how to waste my future after I get out of here. Waste your future? Oh, and she she kind of just gives us a, a really like sad chuckle, like like <laughs> if you if you were a mom and just watched your your kid just do like just just face plant, you know, like, <laughs> at, at, you know, in, 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 at the little jungle gym and be like, oh, it's like, now that's a really sad way of looking at your future, Celesta. Come on. Look I at think you. I you, shrug and you, I'm just like, I, I don't see it changing and I don't think the words of a 50 something guidance counselor are going to instill much hope and make me super honey for my future as a nurse. Honey. I tell you first and foremost, I'm 49. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and and secondly, I know, look in here, and she brings out like your latest report card. It's like, you're a very, very smart woman. You know that? Celeste, you could you can do anything you want with these grades. Look at this. AP AP European history. Uh, AP German. <laughs> and, you know? <laughs> of course it's those. <laughs> it's like, you you really it's like you really know your Europe. Have you ever considered being like a translator or or or, or maybe working for like the UN or or being like a spy or you know or like <laughs> so working for a, being a diplomat or an ambassador? I think I'm just where, like I, where are you I from again? I, it's a, it says I never heard of this country. Where's say Transylvania? No. <laughs> what no it's that's romania transylvania oh. is a region of romania oh like... see see someone transcribed that wrong oh okay <laughs> and and she just corrects it romania. just like like under my breath i mutter is that what it's like that has no relation to the romans does it oh my god i i like i audibly slump forward in my chair like not audibly i visibly yeah slump oh yeah i mean it's so like... cringeworthy can we just can we just, you know, move this along? Can you tell me about, like, what I'm not cut out to do and whether I need to be, you know, putting my efforts so that I can just go back to avoiding German? And she just she just does a little tisk tisk, you know, like, so much potential, and here you are so, so sad about it. Uh, listen, you can, have you ever thought about maybe, it's like, have you ever thought about maybe being you could you could do anything that you want? Have you maybe like what have you ever wanted to be an astronaut? <laughs> you ever <laughs> wanted to reach for this for the moon? You got the I, brains. Uh, I think about it, I'm like, no, I no, I, I I don't think there are any sort of like artisanal shops on the moon. I don't think I'm going to the moon. I don't think oh, I'm well. gonna go work in space. I don't think I'm gonna go be a marine. Yeah, but what about running your own business, your own little space business? <laughs> I, th I like, think she sits back and she's like, like "Yeah, the, the future is huge." When the technological singularity happens, we'll we'll think about that. The technological, what's it? <laughs> and just like, <laughs> just like <sighs> no, no matter, and, and she just waves it, and um, she gets, and she's like, "Okay, well, um, here comes here comes a little bit of a." Uh, a little bit of clouds over our sunshine here, uh, so so you know um, it looks like some of your transfer credits uh, didn't didn't go over. Um, something about um, sanguination studies. Uh, we don't have a proper class for for whatever that is, <laughs> and it looks like you're a couple credits shy of of, of graduating. I think um, I look forward. And I was like that that was for like mortuary training or something. Like I took oh my that God, as just yes. like a BS elective. Yeah, I, oh. I said I'd get credit for that though. That's like that's they said I'd get arts credit for that. 
Well, I don't know who said that, but um, our systems won't take it. And uh, I went to the I went to the principal and been like, "Excuse me, Principal Johnson, but uh, Celeste is a really, really bright kid, and we Celesta. should hold her back." There's an A, Celesta. Celesta, I'm so sorry. And, uh, <laughs> it's like cutting in the most asshole. Yeah, thing. yeah, and um, she she's very bumbly, and um, mm. she's like, well. I tried to make a deal here about, um, you know, we shouldn't hold her back. Uh, but I understand that, uh, Principal Johnson, due to the no child left behind, we can't, can't just let people graduate when they can't require. Like, that don't hit all their requirements. So, so for the, we, we decided that a, a, a little uh, self, self-study project for, for the last 60 days of school here would be the, the, the best way of handling this. Um, and so, I think I lean back and I'm like, yeah, because that's so much more valuable than an exsanguinary mortuary class. Yeah, sure. Okay, right. And she's like, listen, I don't I'm not make like the... directing my anger at her. I'm just kind yeah. of like venting being angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, it's she's like pointed. I understand you put in a lot of hard work over there in, 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 in Europe, but here... It's, like, it's, no, I didn't. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's just that uh, you know, some sometimes when when you when you as a transfer student from another country, some of this stuff just doesn't uh, doesn't well translate. And uh, well, this is what we got, and and these are the rules, and we have to follow them. And um, she kind of just feels kind of bad. Um, mm -hmm. She's like, all right, well, uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you in a little bit, but um, in in the meantime, would you mind would you mind sending in uh, Alistair for a little bit? I very huffily get up and uh, go outside and open the door, and I'm just I just point to Alistair and I'm like, "You trench coat guy, just come on, come on, hurry this up!" Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, immediately walk past and go back to where I was sitting. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like, Alistair freezes when, when you point at him, uh, and then uh, as you move along, he's like, "Okay," and gets up. Um, uh, probably not as fast as you you wanted him to, and then shuffles in. <laughs> yeah, like I'm stuck holding the door for you for a second. I'm like, come on, come the fuck yeah, on. Awkward. Yeah. So, um, I think I think uh, once again, uh, Debbie, Debbie comes up and uh, and and in a very like, uh, what's the word? Uh, something like just very uh, full of life, um, jovial, jovial. Yeah, uh, very jovial um, and enthusiastically reaches her hand out. It's like, hey, how are you doing? My name's Debbie. Uh, so, uh, you know, after the obligatory hesitation, uh, Alistair yeah. uh, takes it and says, there's some kind of problem? Yeah, but let's not worry about that right now. Right now, I want to talk <laughs> about you and your future. <laughs> so, um, and, and I, like, she, like, quickly, like, rushes you to sit down um, in, like, in, in a very... Um, hastily manner like she pulls out her chair it's like please sit 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 um and and she she runs over to her desk and, and it's like going through a couple um folders and like she can't find your folder uh, she's, like, oh, where? she's like where where did this where did i put this and um i came in late yeah um oh it, is that what you yeah and she's like oh that's why okay and she just like grabs like some like a yellow notepad and starts writing some stuff down I was like, so, so Alistair, uh, Alistair, did you, what's your last name? Graves. Well, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Graves. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and she says, like, hmm, so, so we don't, so, so we don't have your records here. Oh, uh, that's, that's so funny, but, um, it's no matter. Uh, so, so, so yeah. Alistair Graves, um, in in your words, uh, what what do you think that a what is it that a that a guidance counselor sh does? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> try and keep kids from killing themselves or something. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. <laughs> and and she just she just smashes her head. <laughs> Um, the cringe is on the other foot. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, oh, oh my dear. There's, there's sure, but, 
but we do so much. We, we're not just about stopping the negative. We're about constructing the positives. And she like points to a poster that says construct the positives. And it's like a lizard. It's like a turtle going up some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> or putting, like, putting the stairs together or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just some like <laughs> retarded. Like, this makes no, it, I'm sorry. It just makes no <laughs> sense. There's like a chair like right next to her side of the room. And you're, if like you're like stuck in there or something, you can like, it's the perfect opportunity to like do the puzzle in your head or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. And uh, so, so she's like, yeah, but not only we we build futures here, and and as as your guidance counselor, I know I know maybe our, our former guidance counselor didn't do that that great of a job, but you know uh, we got Wrong. we got some time together, and we we can we can patch this up real quick because we can do it here at Sunnyvale High, or Sunnydale. Whatever I say. Um, Same diff. Yeah. Yeah. And but, um, but she's waiting. She, like, she did like, we can do it. And like, just looks at you like waiting for you to elicit a like smile or like, yeah, I'm buying into this. <laughs> and what are you doing? But there's some kind of problem, right? She's like, well, well, yeah, but once again, let's, let's just focus on your future for a little bit here. We'll talk about that problem in a second. It's just a little speed bump. Don't worry about it. And, um, <laughs> She, um... Okay, so, so there, there, there won't be a problem, like, getting out of here, right? Graduating? Oh, well... Honey, actually, yeah, there, there's a little bit about that. But, but hold on, I want to talk about your future. I want, I want to know what you want to <laughs> do with your life. You know, like, we, you're, you're so close to graduation, and, and uh, well, I don't know how your transcripts are, so, like, how are your classes doing? Are, are you, are you, are you coming, are you, are you doing okay? I suppose... It's funny that uh, all your records all all are redacted from from before. Yeah. Something about HIPAA. Yeah, it's really funny. Uh, I, I'm, you know, uh, we're all laughing about it, right? Oh. Well, I mean, okay. What? What? Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she, she's like, she's like, I don't get this sort of sardonic humor. <laughs> you know, it's like. Oh, I get it. That's a joke. You're making a joke. Oh, <laughs> have you ever thought about uh, pursuing a, a, a career as a comedian? All the time. I, you know, I, I you, think I'd be great at it. You remind me of that, uh, that, 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 that Seth Rogen, <laughs> that, that Ben Stiller. <laughs> no, no, no. Who was it? Who was it? Adam Sandler. Yes. Yeah, you look like Adam Sandler. <laughs> Boy, he cracks me up. She. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's that cringeworthy. Yeah, <laughs> and it's before things got terrible with Adam Sandler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I saw him in 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 what was it? Fifty first dates. <laughs> 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 um. So so what is it that you want to do? Oh, uh, um. I guess I want to be a writer. Oh, a writer. Oh, so you wanna you wanna write like, like like giant novels or, or like you wanna what do you, what kind of what kind of things do you write? Are you a poet? Uh, I I kind of like uh, Lovecraftian stuff. Lovecraft? Oh, is that yeah. those romance novels? <laughs> yes. Kind of. <laughs> uh, oh boy, it, my my sister loves those novels. <laughs> oh my god! It's only romance if you're into tentacle porn. What porn? Never. I, mind. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think she just lets that slide. Um, she's like, okay, so so you you were right here. This isn't this isn't just gonna be a nice little chit chat. There, I do have some some bad news. And um, well, it looks here that um, I, since since we can't quite get your records straight for after all this this redacted HIPAA information, it looks like you're you're short a couple credits for graduation. What? Yeah, it looks. <laughs> it, first time he's been animated the whole time. What? What, what? do you mean? Uh, yeah. It, we I mean we we looked through the records here, and it looks it looks like that last last semester your 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 self study didn't count on. Apparently you didn't 
report to to the final uh, the final presentation. I, it it looks like you were. And clearly, like, she's referring to something that like you could not have gone to because you had you were in you were institutionalized. Uh, <laughs> um. But they they assured me everything would, would be okay. Well, I I talked it over with with Principal Johnson, and and it doesn't look that way. I'm sorry, um, but no matter. It's a little little boo boo. And and we got the band-aid to patch you right up, and and a little bit of a kiss to make, make sure it heals heals right, and and that's a that's a that's a self-study project. So, how 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 does how does a, a little self-study project? It's actually it's I'll do you okay. one better. It's not even a self-study project. It's a group project. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and um immediately um yeah she she uh she's like. She she talks about well I think I think you you well, don't worry you're you're not the only one in this boat here there seems just seems to be a little bit of a, a kerfuffle for this entire year with our <laughs> with our systems here. Um, so and, we're all going down with the boat. Uh, I prefer to think of it like that we're all um we're all climbing the mountain together actually <laughs> instead of going down <laughs> with the boat. And um, isn't that sort of a mixed metaphor? Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm a guidance counselor, not a motivational speaker, and um, I think I think she's she's going to mention. Um, well, it, let me just let me just talk to um to to our to our friend Jesse here, and um, after that we we can get going, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this project. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. And she she holds her hand out again, thinking that you would take it this time. <sighs> like this entire time, <laughs> this entire time, your hair is like we have never seen your eyes. Oh Just yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Like Love it. like magically, you know, the, that uh, uh, you know when he's like. Staring and intense, you can see them, but most of the time, yeah. They're... Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so and then, yeah. Okay. Gets and the last, the last person. Up to the door. Yeah. So you, so you've been waiting for a little bit, Jesse. Um, I have. Yeah, you've been, you've been kind of summoned and then told to wait for a while, um, and you, you see Debbie actually come out. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> that was just no, no, robots. Hello, Can you repeat robots? that? Adam? Now we know what we robots. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am playing the robot. <laughs> <laughs> cool new skin. <laughs> I am the goal. When I gaze into the abyss, I also um, shoot laser beams out of my eyes. <laughs> oh, like Cyclops. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you got um, garbled for a second. So so yeah, I didn't I didn't hear your your initial response. Um, I forget my what my initial response was. Um, I'm I'm trying to going. I'm thinking I'm going to like play the upbeat to everybody's downbeat for this entire time. So if you want to like play Debbie extra hard to try to combat that, that would be cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I think I think Debbie comes out and it's like. <laughs> Jesse Reinhardt. Oh boy, uh, you know I went to school with your father, uh, and, oh and she shakes a hand out. Uh, it's like, I shake it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a nice firm handshake, young man. Come on, come come into come into my office. Let's let's have a quick little chit chat. And um, so she 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 closes the door again, and um, she 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 goes back it. to. I think it like partially closes, but like bounces open a little bit. Yeah. Like it okay. doesn't like quite like mash the hinge into the door, so then I close it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Push it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's so considerate. You know, because here at here at Sunnydale, these these conversations between uh, guidance counselor and and student are, are confidential, and you should feel safe in here. This is a safe space. So, so Jesse. Um, and and she she brings out a, another folder 
Um, and and she like we flip through the folder and like we see that like there's, there's like a couple papers here. There's like your transcripts, and then we see like a lot of like just like drawings of you with like like black magic circles and stuff like in in, <laughs> in the work like, going through. Like maybe like papers I like, turned in. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, like, little doodles. Like, the front is done to a T, but I also got really bored and doodled on the back of it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? And there's, like, upside-down crosses and just, like, all, you know, like, just, <laughs> the most just, obvious, like, like satanic and, things. Yeah, and, like, and like things in Latin in, in like, the sidebars. stars <laughs> just everywhere, like, everywhere. There's no pentagrams at all. There's always eight-pointed stars. Right. It's like the squares. So she, um... Every she, stick she, figure has horns. She she looks Eight through it. Seven. Like the the the, the Crowley seven pointed star. Oh. And, no. Go ahead. no. <laughs> so she, I, I think I think she just kind of giggles at him. She's like, oh, "You're quite the artist." <laughs> <laughs> well, it is like really geometric. So yeah, yeah. It's a, I introduced her to this really cool thing called sacred geometry, which is about how. <laughs> These shapes had in like cultures behind us. Like Pythagoras was really into this, and like <laughs> yeah. hexagrams had these meanings, whereas octagrams had these meanings, and blah 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 blah, and the golden spiral and the Fibonacci sequence. And I think, um, I think she's gonna like. I talk her head off about all of this. Like, they're, I'm going in more into this, and I'm like one point six one eight zero three three nine, and. You, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think um, I think she probably like buys it. Um, she's like, oh wow! So you're telling me all these pretty shapes and circles have all this meaning, and 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 that that these Greeks all thought this was this religious. <laughs> these Greeks. These Greeks. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a foreign concept. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, yes, exactly. You're getting it. <laughs> my, my, they didn't, they didn't teach. No, she's like, hmm, they didn't teach this in Bible study. <laughs> Who is Pythagoras? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie. <laughs> um, and she's like, man, this is so. This is some really interesting stuff. Have you ever thought about being a mathematician? Yes. This, I, I can only imagine this is what, what people who study math do. Yeah. Yeah, I see that you're an AP calculus. That's that's really, really good for someone your age. And, uh... I've been on that track for years, so... It was, it was just... It was honestly just the next one I would take, so... Yeah. Cool, so... Have you, have you given thought to going, going to college? Yeah. Yes. That's not that's something you want to do. What what would be your dream school? I point to like the vague direction of the nearest like fantastical engineering college. Hmm. Okay, um, Sunnydale Institute of Technology. Sit. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's 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 um, Sunnydale Heights Institute yeah, of Technology. Yeah, I was about to say you need to make it shit, not sit. <laughs> And um, okay, and I, I think um, I think he's like, oh yeah, uh, SHIT is a really, really, really good school. <laughs> <laughs> South Park. Yeah, but you, yeah, you, you're gonna need to write a, a hell of a, an acceptance essay uh, to get in there. I think I got it. <laughs> good. Well, um. In I've been case, working on it. It's I pull it out and like she interrupts. I've it. got like a rough draft, but I'm like I've been spending like this past month has been my first month to really like chisel the wording and do my first edit. So I'm just and like presenting ev- everywhere, just papers and essays. She and stuff she like just that. grabs your paperwork. She's like, "Oh, that's really nice." But in case this doesn't work out, and like hands it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, without even looking at it, she's like, "Listen, uh, there was a little side project here. Um, so, so <laughs> you're not gonna believe it, but there was a little bit of a mix-up here in our computer systems, and and you're actually short a credit. 
Uh, so, so you couldn't graduate uh, unless unless you have this little the, this personal project here. So now, and I talked this over with Principal Johnson, and uh, we we agreed that um, doing this little group study project. No, 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 no. You don't have to explain it away. It's fine. No, I see, you're gonna have to. That's okay. No, it's see, okay. this this it's gonna have to be this group study project, Jesse. Yes, I know. It's okay. <laughs> and um, well, I mean, just just in case your your writing doesn't work out in the for for essay. I mean, SHIT is really prestigious, and I think I think seeing <laughs> seeing that you uh, no straight face you working together uh, with with a group to achieve something amazing is some grade A uh, SHIT material. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta grab that bull by the horns, you know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> Damn it, Eric! And she's, she's like, she's that. not leaving you. She's not like giving you any choice, you know. She's like, she knows that you just wrote this essay, and she just doesn't care. And she's like, already got this plan for you. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, that's okay. I can do both. I've been planning this for months in advance. <laughs> aren't you, oh yeah, okay. Aren't you a little scheming devil? And she like, <laughs> and she just she takes a big sip of uh, of her coffee. Um, she's like, so so, what are you interested in? What do you, what do you like to do after after school? All right, so you'd like to write? Well, since you canceled, or shall I say, delegitimized the D and D club two years ago. <laughs> um, I've just been I've just been taking that out of the school and doing it more on my own time. You know. Well, I mean, the the administration didn't have much choice after you guys brought in that that little pit yes, line to be to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and like that's yeah, like yes, I know. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. <laughs> Therefore, I cannot. The janitor, I mean, and she's, she just starts saying, like, well, the janitor know, staff. Well, like, <laughs> to bring in money for the school <laughs> to be considered a club up here. Well, it was more about the stains and and <laughs> and the blood, but okay. <laughs> see, see, Can't let you bring real Warhammers into the school. Yeah. <laughs> we, we let, see, we... Here, Sunnydale, Sunnydale High School is accepting of, of all all cultures and, and customs. Of course, of course. Uh, but but sometimes <laughs> we just get some concerns from some parents about about the rituals and and the chantings and <laughs> and once again, I don't know why you need to bring in all that raw steak, but we're not, <laughs> we, can't, <laughs> we can't do that anymore. We're gonna have a steak sale. <laughs> a, ste a, steak, a steak sale. And a steak sale. <laughs> oh. All right. I know you believe that, but that is because we met in the cooking class, and this was after ninth period. And I know some of the people in there, they're all jocks, and they don't pick up their mess after lunch either. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, it's just know. a big misunderstanding. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, so I think um, I was like, oh well, you know that that. Well, th thank you very much for your time. I think I think you are, you're a good kid, and I think you know exactly what you're gonna go. I think I think S H I T is the place for you, and because um, here here at Sunnydale, and, and my personal belief as, as as Debbie, your guidance counselor, is that you should always. Follow your dreams, and and uh, what what she what did she say to to Alistair? Construct the positive. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Construct, yeah. construct the positive, and is is what she says. She reiterates she and, and points back to, to the the, po the poster with the turtles mm -hmm. and the stairs and yeah, the missing puzzle even pieces. Have to point it. I've done the puzzle in my own head before. I just so I just yeah. I just pull it out and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, well, that's good because I think we're ready for our first break then. Yeah. So, uh, everybody, everyone in chat, thank you so much for for tuning in uh, for, the, for this first hour. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this hilarious little intro 
to our characters and our guidance counselor, and now we're going to actually get ready to jump into some um, mm-hmm. true hilarity and, and playing and, and romance and mischief. So everybody, um, yep, uh, Lurch, uh, by the way, I just have to say this, Lurch, Lurch, um, 6571 has the, has the has the best uh, joke here. Uh, you really for especially for for um, dark lavender. Uh, you, you need to get a BS from SHIT. <laughs> 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 so we'll leave you, we'll leave you on that joke. Uh, thank you so.